Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be sharing 10 powerful AI features for the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. These features are going to help you boost your productivity and also help in various real life situations. So let's dive in and get started right away. The very first feature is actually built in right into your keyboard and it splits off to three different features. So let's launch the messaging application to give you the examples. I'm going to bring up the keyboard. And basically, let me type something. So here's a text message that looks like a mess. It says, hey, what's up? How you doing? Want to hang out? So what you can do is on the keyboard, you can tap this icon here. This is the intelligence icon. You tap on it and you will get three different options. Now, the first one I'm going to show you guys is the writing style option. Now, when I tap on the writing style, as long as there's something within here, it is going to recommend different ways how you can present yourself. So the first one is the original. But if I go up here, this is the professional version of what I just typed here. You can see it looks very nice and clean. Hello, how are you doing? Would you like to meet up and discuss some business opportunities? Or if I scroll down, here's the casual version of what I just typed, but it's cleaned up even more. So it says, yo, what's up? How are you doing? Want to hang out? And I can keep scrolling down. You can see the social version with the hashtags. And if I can go down even more, here's the polite version. And then at the bottom, we have the emoji version that actually utilizes a bunch of emojis. So that's one feature. And by the way, what I can do is if I like one of these guys, let's say I like this one, I tap on insert and it replaces what I just wrote and puts in the professional variation of the AI suggestion. So that's number one. Number two, we have the chat translation option. Okay, so if you activate this, basically by default, it starts to translate. You do have to pick the language. So let me tap that one more time, bring that up, translation. So I'm going to pick a language. I'm going to say translate from English to, let's just say French. So now I'm going to send a text message. And look at what happens. When I send a text message, or even when I receive a message, right at the bottom of that message, right here, it's got the translation. For example, we just got a response, and at the bottom here, we have the response translation. So that's great if you're talking to somebody with another language, and this is just not any translation, it is AI-assisted translation, so it's going to be as realistic as possible. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be as realistic as possible. By the way, if you're not going to be using this feature, just go back into intelligence and make sure it's turned off because you don't need it all the time. You can exit and it's going to disappear when the thing pops up. And finally, tap this again. Okay, bring up the keyboard, tap intelligence, and you have the spelling and grammar. So let me write something messy here. So again, here we have a lot of typos. It's not the perfect grammar. Tap this again right here, go to spelling and grammar, and it's gonna be checking that, it's gonna converting that to properly looking sentence, as you can see, and then you tap on insert and you're good to go. So those are the three keyboard features you can use. They're built in to your Samsung keyboard. And I do wanna let you know, you can always go to the settings and go over to advanced settings, and then go to advanced intelligence where they have bundled up all the AI features. And you can see in this case, I can go here and I can turn on and off those features individually, as you can see, okay? And even go inside and customize certain features, such as being able to install new language packs as they become available. But they're going to be listed right over here. All right, let's move on. Next up, I want to talk about the Samsung Notes application. So we're going to go to the Notes application, and it's got a lot of AI options built into it. I'm going to launch the Notes application. I'm going to go right over here. So here's something I just typed in, I rambled in, just a few thoughts on safe driving. Now what I want to do is I want to format this into something more presentable, maybe in a meeting or maybe in a presentation. So again, all I do is I look for the intelligence symbol, which is right here. You tap on it. It is going to select the text. I can select even more. And then I have these four options. So I can auto format this note into something that is much more clear. So let's use meeting notes. So now it's going to do it. It's doing its magic and let's see what happens. So there we go. So now I can present these in a meeting and they have been reformatted with a headline, a sub headline and bullet point as you can see. And the great thing is I can change the format style just by swiping over. So you can pick 
from various different looks as far as just the visuals are concerned, but it's nice that you get all these various options, okay? So that's one. Let's show you one more. Tap this again, out of format. Let's do headers and bullets. I'm gonna tap again, and now we are gonna get this new arrangement. There we go. Again, I can swipe over and all that. And if I wanna replace everything, I just tap on replace, and now my scramblings are replaced with these organized notes, as you can see. Let me undo this. Next up, what I can do is I can tap this again, and now I can correct any spelling errors, or I can also translate. So translation is built into this as well. I can go from any language, in this case we have English, to any other available language, as you can see. And you can also tap on add languages when more become available. So let's do, uh, as an example, Spanish. Tap on translate. So that's the Spanish translation of what I wrote. And I can replace that as well if that's what I want to do. So those are the AI features built into Samsung Notes. They're going to be very, very useful for many people. Now the next feature might be very important for people that are traveling or live in a multi-language environment. So this one is known as the interpreter, okay? So if I go to the advanced features, again, it's a translation feature, AI, and it's this one right here. So you can use AI to translate spoken conversations which sound natural to both sides. Now to use this feature, you have to pull down the tab right here, the quick toggle area. And then you want to make sure that interpreter is in fact active. So in my case, it's right here. If you don't see it here, tap edit, and it's going to be edit again, and it's going to be somewhere at the bottom. You can just drag and drop it, okay? And then you can move it around where you want it to go. So I can grab this guy, and I can put it on the first page on the top. So tap on done, and now I have access to it right here. So when I click it, it activates this window. You can see on this side, let's say I have somebody that speaks German, and on this side, I speak English. Okay, now what I can do is I can tap here. Hey, how are you doing? What's up? Uh, what's how's your day today? And then tap this again, and now that's hey, gonna be. Wie geht es dir? Was ist los? Was ist dir Tag zu Tag? So now that not didn't only translate it to German, it also spoke it to in German. So you can have a two-way conversation just like that which is fantastic. And that person is sitting on the other side, so that's why half of the screen flipped over for them to see it, and the other half right here. You have a couple buttons here where you can make it like this if you want, okay? If the person is right next to you, you can use it this way. If they're on the other side, you can do it this way. Fantastic AI capability, and again, because it is AI-assisted, it is more natural than just raw translation. Well, the next feature that we have is known as instant slow-mo feature that's built in to the gallery application. So let's go over here. Here's a video. Okay, I'm gonna play this video. You can see it's a video of me just panning this way towards the car. Now, if I wanted to, at any time, I can press and hold on a video to create a slow motion shot. So look at this, I'm gonna tap this. Press and hold, boom. So now we have the slow motion shot right for that, okay? And you can also edit to add the slow motion effect permanently to any video by tapping the adjust speed button and choosing how fast and also changing exactly where you want to create that, okay? So you can see adjust speed, let's do one and a half, uh, let's move this a little bit. Let's move it over here and here. And now, that area is playing at half the speed of the original. When you're done, you can tap here and you can save it as a brand new file. So any video can be turned into slow-mo and any portion of that area can be extracted and saved as a single separate file. Next thing I want to be talking about is the powerful voice recorder app that now has AI that is going to allow you to transcribe, translate, and summarize. So let's uh, launch that voice recorder. So let's uh, go over here and create a new file. Let me just start talking into it. The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra now has AI features. By the way, I'm just rambling, so it's recording me. 
Uh, it also has titanium frame. It's got the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. It's got 12 gigabytes of RAM. It's a great phone, blah, 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 blah. Now I'm going to tap on pause or stop, okay? And I'm going to save the file. Now when I go into that file right here, oops, not this one, this one right here, what I can first do is here's my regular audio file right here. But I can tap on transcribe and I can choose the language. So if I choose a different language, it will translate and transcribe. But I'm going to do English, tap on transcribe. Okay, and there we go. It knows we have two, one speaker, okay, but there was a little pause somewhere. But if there were multiple speakers, it would analyze their speech and put them down as speaker two. So it's great if you are in the classroom, the teachers and students are talking, interacting. It is going to split these people up. And then on top of that, you can go to summary. And it will create a summary of the ramblings. And look at that. It gave me keywords and summary. So if this was a lecture in a classroom, you can create a very nice summary completely automatically, instantly to look at and learn even better. And again, the best part is you can also translate this stuff. So tap on this button here. And now I can go to, let's say, Japanese, translate. Now those notes have been translated from the English to Japanese. These are the keywords. This is the summary. This is phenomenal, guys. Look at the transcript that used to be here. And then, oops, the summary that makes it look so nice, okay? It almost feels like it knows what I'm saying. Of course, it's using AI, the language model, but it gives me these nice summaries and keywords that are usable in real world, especially if you're in a classroom or whatever, teacher, student, whatever. And of course, the next thing that we have is something you've probably seen. It is the circle to search option. You press and hold, and then you can circle anything, anywhere, anytime, and it's gonna get you Google results based on that. If you wanna see the results, you can pull this up and you can keep browsing. And if you don't wanna see the results, you can, as you can see, you can pull it down and you can even move this around. This is a very simple example, but as you move it around, it's gonna give you different results based on what gets into focus. And of course, when you're done, you just go back and you're back in business. Now you do have to go to the settings and scroll down, go to display, and scroll down and go to navigation, right here, navigation bar, and you can see with swipe gestures, the circle to search is enabled. So you can disable it if you don't want it. But if you are a person that likes to use buttons, like this one right here, you can also have circle to search, but now you have to press and hold on the home screen to activate the feature. So look at that. So now I circle to search that area, I'm getting relevant results right over here. Stuff is just popping up. You can just do the research as needed. So that's circle to search. Let's go back to swipe. All right. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, have a fantastic day.